happy as we are to be back online here in New York. Our thoughts turn to our loved ones who are defending us on this beautiful 4th of July. We go now live to the Yellow Sea where sailors aboard the USS Clarence E. Walsh are celebrating. We have Seaman Anthony Palmiera from Brooklyn, New York. Tell us, Seaman Palmiera, how you'll be celebrating Independence Day. Well, the captain's going to have a, a big barbecue on deck. And tonight we'll have our own fireworks. <laughs> A test launch gone wrong. That's impossible. The Koreans can't even detect the Walsh. Never mind track it on radar and sink it with a 30-year-old Chinese anti-ship missile. I have reason to believe the ship was crippled with an information warfare attack. Not a chance. The Walsh's systems are... Unhackable? The Walsh's EW suite is built on kernels first identified by two of the world's leading computational theorists. One of them was found dead in Peru last week. I'm about to pick up the other. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm not sure what we've just witnessed here, but I'm afraid something terrible has occurred. Amazing what they show on TV these days, huh, Sam? The world's gone crazy. I guess you're in the right business then, Doug. What are you doing here? I'm looking for a guy named Milan Nevich. Heard he works for you. Lots of people work for me. Haven't you heard? First security company to make a Fortune 500. If you're looking for a job. I'm not. Is that so? You keep doing what you're doing, you'll just end up another unknown soldier. I'm not in it for the fame. Your buddy Nevich is dirty. Cut him loose. Unlike other employers, I don't cut people loose. If you got evidence against one of my guys, I'll help you bring him in. But I'm not going to send a man up the river because you say so. Fair enough. Just stay out of my way. Thanks for the advice. In case you change your mind. Hey guys, I'm Phil Gurney, and this is Mission 6. So first up, we're going to grab out our sticky shockers. Pull out our gun, and this is going to be the only guy we take out. So once that, we're going to switch over to our pistol, because that's what we're going to use for the rest of our time. Put that away, and head under this branch, and we can run. Because we're going to run right up, jump up here, pull ourselves up, and head into the building. Because that guy is a massive problem, and there's pretty much no way to get past him without taking him out. Now, we're going to head into the building area. Now there's going to be a dude in the area up ahead. He's going to be lighting up a candle. Ignore him. And let him just walk through the door. If he doesn't walk through the door, we'll just head through this window. And then head back behind him. You can distract him a little bit, whistle, and that will slow him down lighting the candle. Now we're just going to scan this lighting plate. Uh, and we're going to scan that lighting plate right at the end. Because that's going to be one of our secondary objectives. Now we're going to head forwards over to here and jump up and then head over to this window and climb through the window. We're going to do this mission nice and quick and we're going to head through this cool space. And it's going to take us into a little uh, vegetation area. Now there's also a secondary objective is to hack all the microphones. So we're going to head forwards and do this. And we're going to jump over here. Pull out our gun, zap the slide, and head forwards and disable this mic here. And this is going to be the first of six mics. I'm on it. What was that? I'm going to distract him with a whistle. 
and the reason is we don't want his patrol path to cross with the guy who is just in here because in a second this guy's going to walk over and out and we don't want the guard back there to walk down that corridor because he'll see us when we try and sneak through this very well lit corridor so in a second this guy's going to come through and I think we're going to do well and obviously you can't walk directly into the room because it's very well lit and the guy would see us so we're going to head through and in very nicely Listen, done. Looks like this place has kept a small staff on to take care of the retreat. Brilliant. Now we're going to head forwards and down this corridor and through here. Now we're going to disable our second mic. We're going to head through here, head over to this uh, little doorway, this little window, drop down. Now these guys are talking, they won't see us. We're going to stick in the shadows, head over to this little hanging uh, scroll, this is where all the um, mics are. Head back round, we'll be in darkness, stay quiet, and we're going to head into the bathroom here. They might see us a little bit, ignore them, and enter the cool space. And that is the second out of six mics disabled, and we're well on our way. Now, this is a little more difficult. We're going to exit here and do this. See the lamp up there? We can't take that out normally because it's actually a candle. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to shoot it. Is someone moving around out there? No, I don't know. Now, this is going to get guards really suspicious. And they're all going to come walking down here. And as one walks down there, we are going to walk along here. And then we're going to drop down and stay in the shadows. Now there is a civilian here. Ignore him. And this light over here, we are going to take out normally. That's going to go out. And we are going to head up the stairs here and into this room. And that's how you get past that area really easily. Now there's a bunch of guys do it having a meeting. And the guy we need to kill is in there because uh, he's not worth keeping alive. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head through here first and head right into the corner by this kind of bed area. And this is our third mic. Now we're going to slide open the door and it's important that you slide the door closed behind you. And... Ah, well, We're going to head into this cool space it. just here. Yeah, but if he says cool past all these dudes. So They're going to be having their meeting. That guy's going to give some right, orders, enough. and then we're going to question him and then kill him. What do you mean? He's on his way here. Our just got and York. He's exit. He's coming up here. Tie up some Sorry. Good. That guy's just dropped some Don't coins. Not worth anything since the market crashed. It's not even worth the effort to pick him up. Hey, the officers got hit. By who? The Fed? Who cares about the officers? What's this tie up loose ends thing? Not exactly sure. But this thing with the ship, maybe someone's onto us. But what if. Look, never mind all that. The boss is on his way and things are heating up. We knew that would happen, so just stick to the plan, get this place tightened up, and make sure that this little visit goes off without a hitch. Get moving! Okay, now we are actually going to grab this dude as he walks past. So we're going to move forwards, grab the character, and we're going to drag him back into this corner. Because once we kill him, we need his body hidden. Now you can do, of course, the cool thing, which is where he goes behind there, you see his outline, and you can actually grab him through the paper wall. But we're not going to do that. We're going to be practical. Let's not make a scene. Who are you? What do you want? I want to know why you're protecting Sir Casey. How this place is involved. I won't talk. You're gonna make me cut your throat and look for the words inside your neck. Oh God! Please, let me go. You're not leaving here alive, Manage. But if you tell me what I want to know, I can make the end a little easier for you. The blackout. We we needed to keep Sir Kezzy safe after the blackout. And what about the Walsh? I don't know anything about the Walsh. 
You have to have Shetland. Shetland? Yeah. She needed more data from Kezi after the blackout. But we have everything. Shetland knows what you're up to. Yeah, yeah, he's the boss. He gave the order to bring Sir Kezi here. Where is he now? He's on his way here now by helicopter. Finish it or let me go. And we're going to skip for him now. No. Grab his body and we're going to make sure it's properly hidden and stick it in the corner. Now, I, I let you hear that conversation. You can skip it. It's not essential whatsoever to listen to. But um, I thought you might as well hear it. Now, we're going to head back over to the call space and exit the area. And we're going to walk forwards. I mean, crawl forwards, I should say. I think there's a flip-flop there. Make sure no one's around. And like I said, if I jumped out there, make sure these guys aren't around. This guy's going to check the room in a second. Or is he going to walk back? Either way, we're going to wait for these guys to patrol. Yeah, as I thought he entered the room. Yeah. As soon as he's in, we'll go out. There we go. I could hear his footsteps. You can use your uh, vision to check if he's there. No, wait. Enter this area. There shouldn't be anyone around as long as you haven't alerted anyone. All the guys will be in the room just there. And there is going to be a guy tapping away there. What we're going to do is we're going to head up and enter the cool space here. So nice and stealthy. And head to the next area. We're about halfway through now, guys. We've done most of it. We've got a couple more cameras, three more cameras, and uh, we've got to take out uh, this other guy. Okay, this is what we're going to do now. Okay, we're going to move forwards and up the drain pipe just here. And this is going to allow us to skip a very well lit corridor area, which we would almost definitely get seen in. Now we're going to drop down and onto the floor. Alright, that guy's going to walk around and do his round, which would have been quite difficult for us. And we're going to head forwards, and we're going to move a little bit quicker, and head to the right, and mic number four is in here. And now, the, all the mics are in the area, all the remaining mics are in the area, so we're going to head in here. And here's his snail documentary thing. And we're going to disable the mic on the banner. And move forwards, and we're going to get the final mic and head to the end of the level at this point, or near to the end of the level. Now we're going to head right into the corner here because a bunch of guards can see us from a distance. And we're going to head forwards and head up against the wall here and wait because that guard there is going to head around, and all the guards are going to be looking there. We've got to wait for them to do their rounds because there's one guard there we can't quite see, but trust me, he is walking in that area. And the other guard, who has just walked past up there. Okay, we're going to slide into this door, head through, close it behind us. Very important we close it. The guard can notice that kind of stuff. And we're going to head down in the shadows and head just here. And in a second, a guard is going to walk down the stairs there and up to the door. And our final mic is just there on that banner. Now, we could head straight up the stairs and continue with our objectives, but we're going to get the final mic. And here's our boy now. Now, he's going to walk up to the door. Important we don't go straight up to it, but we wait just here. And he's going to wait there, look around. And that's why we must close the door behind us, because uh, he will notice if it's open, come out, and we get complications. In a second, he's going to turn around, and we're going to stalk him. So, open the door. No, don't go up that... That's weird. Go through there. The guy does normally see you. Don't worry about that. Slide it closed behind us. And we're going to head down. Don't worry, the guy won't even come to investigate. And our final mic is just here. Completely stealthy. Now don't head up the stairs because you'll get caught by the guy when he comes back down. Head over here and climb up. Now, we're gonna, just going to wait for this guy here to walk down the stairs. What does that mean? Lambert's nice. How many of his ex wives have you spoken to? And we're going to jump up and pull ourselves up. 
Now this guy here is going to walk around. And if we're lucky, he's actually going to walk right in. And we can follow him. Don't even bother shutting the door. It doesn't matter at this point. Now, this guy's going to walk forwards. Allow him to. And we're going to follow him. And what we need to do is get into that room just there. He's going to go inside the room around the corner. So he's not even going to bother us. This and we're going to enter the kind of cool space. The KG's inside. That's our best and Gather we get a, go and watch the meeting between the two people, which is why we're here. And we're going to exit. And wait here. And sit back and enjoy the show. Did Oppenheimer know the truth? What about Roosevelt? Hey, truth is what we needed, Gary. And the truth is, we did the right thing. What do you mean? Proof of concept worked. It was ugly, sure, but it's over now. You mean, you mean there will be peace? Well, peace isn't something that just happens, eh? It has to be enforced, just like in the old days. You know, sheriff with a shield, sure. But he also wears a gun. Gun? That's right. Oh my god. And we can't have that gun falling into the wrong hands, can we? What? What are you? No! My god, Mitchell. Now, don't let shut the drop down. Is he a target? And head in the shadows. Don't worry, the guard in the corner won't see you. Step up here and head into this door. Ignore the door, don't even bother shutting it, doesn't matter. That guy might hear you a little bit. And we're gonna head in here, turn on our night vision, and head through this little kind of, I don't know, doorway, I guess. Now head against the corner, it's important you stay here. And sometimes a helicopter can, can catch you. Now there's a guy right there. Yep, the guy sees you a little bit. Don't worry about it. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to wait for this guy to walk past. That's all your primary objections, Fisher. We can extract you at any time. All right. Now if you didn't get the secondary objective in the last mission, you can get it now by scanning the number plates. Forget it. I don't want to find anything anyway. Oh, he's walking back, don't worry. Either way, we're going to wait for him to walk past. Don't worry about it. Scan the license plates. And that's how you'd normally get your secondary objective. But we got it in the last mission, so we're okay. So we're gonna climb up, go through this window, and head to our extraction point, guys. We've already taken out the guard who's out here, the one who we uh, zapped at the very beginning of the mission. So our extraction point is exactly the same as our um, entrance point. So we can run at this point, the guy's out of the way, and that's all of our objectives complete, guys. So duck under here, Walk through, and we can extract. And there we go, guys. Mission complete. Let's have a look. Everything was complete. Uh, the secondary objective would be to find out the name, and you can do that by scanning license plates, which I did anyway. Our stats, only one guy knocked out, 100% success rating. We're perfect. Okay, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time, and check out my other videos.